Uh, we see the connected vehicle platform. This is built actually by Intel. It's a cooperation project that we have together with them. And we are showing that as we put on our software on their platform and we use our mobile broadband modules for the connectivity part. Our idea is, um, as we call it, the connected vehicle platform. It can be a platform for buses, for trucks, for cars, for everything that's moving. And the idea is that we have one single platform that serves all the different vertical industries or service providers. So uh, what we see here is an infotainment use case, so we can watch a video inside the car, listen to radio or music, whatever is in the car, but we can also access our content that we have on our home media server. And actually we have the content lying in Germany, and when we access it, it's still less than one second when we can hear, for example, the music in the car here in the US. So the round trip times are quite fast, and even if you have then the server on the same continent, it will be even faster. <laughs> And the other use case we show here is about uh, road hazard warnings, so it's traffic safety, and that's what we see on the big screens. Um, you can issue traffic warnings from the car, so uh, for example, if the car systems sense an emergency braking or something, they will send that to a traffic management center and that will be distributed to all the cars in the surroundings, so the cars are warned by that. On the other hand, this car is able to receive warnings from other cars, and with that we did some measurements uh, um, in Europe. So the round trip times within an HSPA network are less than 500 milliseconds, so that's sufficient for this kind of use cases. And if you would go to LTE, it would be even less than 100 milliseconds.